Okay, so we've bought this case and I'm going to show you me assembling it. Uh, so you can see it's got a next to you on the screen. It's cut out for a Raspberry Pi 4B. If you look at the description, it says you have to tinker with it. You know, there's a few things you've got to do. Now, what I learned further on in the video is that the next to you on the screen doesn't actually fit unless you remove the connector. Let's show you what a connector looks like. So a connector, got my dog here today, looks like this. So what this is saying is that you remove this basically, otherwise the screen won't fit in the case and I've tested it and it is said that an L bracket would do the job but no, because I've tried it and it won't, it won't by the time it clips into there, it will stick out a bit here and you can't get the side on because the side fits flush to this. So you literally have to remove this, so you desolder it here and here, 60 solder points and then you solder individual wires back on, otherwise the screen won't fit, it, mine's a 2.8 screen. M0 FXB, so I bought this on eBay in the UK. If you look at it, it's quite snazzy. It's, a, it's for a Raspberry Pi 4, which I already had lying around. So hopefully you can see that okay. It's not too bright in here. So the idea is, this is the Raspberry Pi 4 that I've already got, okay? The idea is that we're gonna get a hat, but we actually need a hat that hasn't got an OLED or an antenna, because we're gonna solder a very small piece of wire here to the core of this antenna. Uh, and then we're gonna attach something, could just be hanging inside, or it could be, I don't know if you've got room to put it in that box. So the other thing I haven't worked out is I still haven't worked out whether how this goes. So this is the screen. I'm guessing that I just take this Perspex thing off here that's got the screws. I've got my screwdriver here ready take these four off and then it sort of goes on from the inside out and then we screw that back on. That's what I'm guessing, because something's got to hold it in place, hasn't it? It's got four holes there, so I'm guessing that they sit underneath that bracket. So first things first then is, let's just take the back off of this here, take the back off, and let's just see how well the this fits. Now this thing was 25 pound on eBay. So let's just take the screws off a minute. We just turn it round. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch all of them. Uh, there is a bolt here for some reason, but anyway. We just, let, I'll take one out and then I'll take the rest out. Uh, uh, after, you know, I'll pause the video. I've got the back four screws out. I've noticed there's another one on the inside and I'm sure there's a very good reason for that. Probably to do with the pie maybe, it holds the pie down. So we're just gonna get this in there. In theory, if I took this one off, I'd be able to get to it easier. But let's just undo that one as well. So the silver one was on the inside. We'll plonk that screw there. And let's uh, see if this comes apart. Right, let's just uh, see what we're missing. Now it's possible, yeah, it looks to me like, I was hope, thinking that the bottom would pull off. Ah, it, it looks like it does. Let me just get two hands on it a minute. Yeah, I just have to pull a bit harder. So this obviously goes on here. Now we need to get it the right way round because of the, you know, the port. So it looks to me like, look, you've got ports here. Look, see where it, where it lines up. US, a couple of USB type, well, they look like USBs, they're probably not, they're probably HDMI things. USB-C and then a headphone. So we'll get that in there like so. It's quite a tight fit, but I suppose it's meant to be really. Now you can buy fans for these. SD card's already in. I've already done the image for the SD card for Pi-Star. So it looks like it actually sits in there with a gap and that's for ventilation. Now you can buy a fan that you screw to this uh, here. So let's just get that screw back in. Remember that silver screw that we took out? It went here. Okay, the screw's in. So now we're gonna work out how to get the screen in. This is a bit of an old screen, but it is 2.8 inch. And to me, it does just, see there, you've got nuts and bolts. 
there. So we're just going to undo them, poke the screen in. Now, it's actually quite crucial you get the screen the right way around. Uh, because what you want, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because when you've got it sat like that and the power's going to be going in from the top, if the power's, if the screen's the wrong way round and the power's underneath, you're not going to be able to sit it. So what I'm going to do is just fire up the screen and, and just see which way round it goes. And it's not hard to do. You just add some power, 5 volts to the, the black and the red, uh, and the screen will come on. And then I'll be able to know which way round it goes. Okay, so we know that when it's the right way round, we've got the, the plug to the left. Okay. And I've used a, uh, like an adapter to, to be able to add power to this. It's a USB TTL adapter. So to sort of power the screen from MMDVM type purposes, when I eventually get the hat, remember my hat won't have an antenna or a screen. We're going to have to solder four pins here, which is not that hard really. Put them in there, add some flux and then solder it. And then these four pins here from the Nexium type screen go on here and they're, they're actually marked. I don't know if you can see it there, but they're actually marked. I just, I need to put my glasses on to see it myself, but it's ground is black. Then you've got TX and RX, which is either yellow or blue. And, and they, you can follow that back. Got radio in the background going. And the first one here is five volt for red. Um, and the way you follow them back to know which is which is on the actual screen they're marked. Here, look, 5 volt TX RX. So let's just say TX is blue, which it is. Then where it connects onto the actual hat, um, TX was, was uh, let's try and get this focused. I know it's not easy, uh, a bit of focus. So if TX is blue, then on here, blue goes to RX. So you get the idea. So eventually, now we've got this screwed here into this, it's a metal case basically. So eventually, now let's get the, let, actually before we do that, let's get the screen screwed so it's poking out here. If all we're gonna do right now is just undo these four bolts. Undo the four bolts and then put the screen in, which we'll do now. Right, we're still tinkering, screen is here. The nuts and bolts are here that I've taken out. So I'm pretty sure that the idea now is I put the screen in from the inside and this has to go over. I had to take all this paper off, plastic paper. But I think it's going to look quite cool. Now again, we need to get it the right way round. Remember we said about having the screen power at the top. So look, power is going in here. All these USB holes are here. So this is the way round that we want the screen, which means we need the screen to come in. I know it's all dirty. Don't worry about that. We need to have the screen coming like so. Uh, so we need to make sure we've got enough room. We still need the cable, the cable to do its job here. So I'm just gonna put that in place and then uh, come back to you. Okay, well the screen's quite messy. Now we had to take four, we had to take the cover off with another four screws here. So eight screws really. One, two, three, four. The screen sort of has to go like this. I'll show you the other side. I'm not even sure if it's the right way around now, so don't worry, we can always swap it. Um, but the way I would like it to go back on is that way, because I know that the power, sorry, is that way, because I know that the power is going in at the top, and that's that. So the idea is that now this will tuck under here, and then you sort of fold the wires sort of like that and then when the hat is connected the wires will fit here now like I said this is this is all too big so I'm going to put it together with this one just to see to see how much room we've got um, so and then we'll take it from there but we're having fun so the idea is when it's finished it will be a neat little hat like that I don't know if we're gonna have an, any room at all for an antenna but it's not a problem, you know, because we can add a piece, a small piece of wire and we can do an internal antenna. You don't need much anyway. So let's keep going. 
So I've put the MMDVM hat on that's the, basically the wrong one, so you can see why because of the antenna and the board here. But I thought I'd still put it on. It's still quite a nice and neat little job, isn't it? Um, and then so the idea is that the screen is going to go like that. So what I'm going to do now is take, I thought I'd just show you that. Take this off just to show it does fit in. No problem with it fitting in there. The um, I managed to get a Chinese hat for £20. So for now, we're just going to fold up these wires here and just see if we can uh, fit this onto that to show you how neat it looks. Okay, we'll just finish up for now. But as far as I can see, the top won't go on because this connector's in the way. Uh, we could turn it round like so, which would make the screen the wrong way round, but it would go on. But then, the connector's still in the way. I notice that this, this does move, this side part does move. So, I'm guessing that we have to, hopefully you can see this, take this off, the side part, cut a, a section out. Let's have a look. I just let you see what we're up to here. We can't cut out this side really because you've got all the USB stuff, so it has to be done on this side. So if I just leave that off altogether for now, this side piece, I'll just pull it off. And I have noticed that both both ends come off, look. So in theory, that means you can you can swap it. In theory, I would say you can. You can, you know, swap it. You, because both ends come off, you can swap it. So I think that's good because it means, you know, you have the ability to... But this is a very thick, chunky bit, this bit. Looks very hard to cut, but it's aluminium, so I'm sure it's doable. So I think the key thing now is to get the lid on the right way round. So that's the right way round. The screen's this way. Let's get it on. And the, then the next thing is to work out what we're going to do with the sides. So my brain has now told me to swap this round. So I took the silver screw out and just swap it round. Actually, you're thinking about it, you, you can't swap it round because the, the way the, hot, the side holes are. So yeah, so forget that idea. It literally has to go this way round. Right, back on. So... Really, it's about cutting a groove out of the side to fit the screen. So let's get the screen, which will be the wrong way round at first. Possibly you can change that with software. Let's just get the screen on there. Right, so, so that does go on now. Um, the bolt is a bit long here. It, with the pie in. So we might have to just shorten one bolt. That one's all right, but this one's a bit long. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Right, okay, well, I'll come back to you when I've done more. Seven, three, all the best. Okay, so, as you've been watching me uh, fit this case, as you can see, I'm now being told that the connector, this, this, this case is sold uh, saying that it basically fits the next to the screen, okay? As you can see, it fits, but you can't put the side on, okay? So, spoke to the seller, and the seller says, remove the connector, okay? So there's the connector removed. Right, now he says you can put an L plate on, but you can't, because the side panel still will not fit. I get my hands out the light. Side panel, connector, won't fit. So you are forced now to, as you can see, you have to now desolder the connector. Well, obviously there's a risk to that because by desoldering that connector, you might damage the, um, you might damage the, the next end screen. Trying to get a good zoom in on that. So what should have happened, I think, is possibly the case should have been made wider or I suppose a groove could have been cut out. A groove could have been cut out here. That 
possibly would do it, but really, you tell me, is removing a connector, desoldering a connector off a Nexian screen, so that you can make this case fit, which I'm now going to send back. Should that have been in the description of the seller? I think it seems like a very key thing to say that you have to remove the connector from the Nexian screen. You have to desolder it and, and then solder back on some wires, which is doable, uh, so that um, you can then use the screen. Also, the bolts that came with it are way too long. I've had to turn them around. You have to cut every bolt. Did it say in there that every bolt has to be cut? No. Okay, well, thanks for watching the video. 7-3 all the